So yesterday we had a bit of a surprise start from Tyler Huntley for the Ravens. Tyler Huntley had a big throw at the end of the game to help the Ravens win the game. So you know what? For this week's franchise video, we're going to rebuild the Ravens with Tyler Huntley. Now this is going to be an interesting one because Tyler Huntley in the game is uh, not very good. Not super high overall. He's an undrafted free agent and wasn't even the backup last year, right? We had Trace McSorley last year as the backup who's now gone, actually. I think uh, he's on the Cardinals now as of today. But this is what Tyler Huntley, he doesn't even have a face scan. Like, doesn't even have a picture. Doesn't even have a face scan. So, yeah, 60 overall Tyler Huntley. He's got 86 speed out here, so we could run the ball a little bit. But the throwing attribute stuff isn't the greatest, so... We're going to see what happens. We're going to start him. First order of business with the Ravens, though, is we got to trade Lamar. I know that's ridiculous. How dare I trade Lamar Jackson? But he can't be on the team on the rebuild, you know? We might as well get the value. And who knows? I mean, he hasn't re-signed yet IRL, right? He hasn't re-signed to a long extension. So who knows? But they're going to re-sign him. Anyways, let's get rid of Lamar Jackson. We should be able to get a lot of value, and this team right now isn't that great. I did end up using the active roster, which means a lot of, like, the really, really high overall Ravens, like, uh, Ronnie Stanley is not on the team right now. Marcus Peters also not on the team, so it's a little bit weird. There's a lot of injuries on the Ravens. We should get them back next year, and hopefully we'll be okay, but first order of business, we're going to trade Lamar Jackson, which is... I hate it. I hate every part of that. I hate that I have to do it, but hey, for the video. All right, so first order of business, we had to trade Lamar Jackson. I figured we'd get some weapons for Tyler Huntley. So Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, and a first round pick for Lamar Jackson. I'm sure like any trade would have gone through, by the way. I'm pretty convinced that would have been the thing, but we got weapons and yeah, I mean, I'm down for this. Long-term contracts for both of them too, I believe. And we could potentially use that first round pick for another beast. So, and I am going to import a draft class. It, it feels so weird because I, I love Lamar, dude. I love Lamar. It feels weird as a Ravens fan to just get rid of the franchise QB. But hey, it's what we got to do for the video. And honestly, that might just be it for now. I, I'm down to just run with this team, see what happens, and start developing Tyler Huntley. We're going to get a lot of guys back next year, like I said, and... I don't know. I don't really feel like trading anyone else. So I'm going to just rock with this. We'll see what happens after year number one. By the way, if you guys enjoy these franchise videos or just any videos in general, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you guys are new around here and hit that bell to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video in the comments. Let me know what other franchise videos you guys want to see and I'll try to get it done for you guys. It is double upload season right now, so I'm down to upload whatever as uh, we get into the mid-season here. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Follow me on all the social medias. All the links are in the description down below. And SeatGeek, guys, if you're trying to buy tickets to any sports games, check out SeatGeek. Use code WHEELS for $20 off. Okay, so let's see who we got to re-sign here after or during year number one. So Calais Campbell, free agent. Jimmy Smith, free agent. Brandon Williams. So a lot of older guys. Ooh, I do want to bring back Deshaun Elliott. You know what I might do here? I'm kind of down to let all these guys go. Yeah, I'm down to let pretty much all these guys go. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we got to resign Tyler Huntley too. Oh, I swear that's a problem every single time. So let me resign Deshaun Elliott. Maybe Patrick or Ricard too just because. Eh, do we need a fullback? Probably not. Um, and then I might try to trade Calais Campbell. So let's try to resign. Deshaun Elliott real quick. Also, by the way, I just realized we're 7-0 to start off. This is going to be a fast rebuild. Number one offense? Like, what? This is kind of crazy. I didn't even realize that. I was just on autopilot there. This might be a one-season rebuild. We don't even need a rebuild. All right, I'm thinking five years. Was it 25 mil? Let's see if we can get him for five years, 25 mil. And there we go. Deshaun Elliott re-signed. Monster IRL. I just wish he could stay healthy IRL. He's so good. He's such a good player, but... We got him back on this franchise. You know what? Seeing that we're 7-0 right now, do I even want to trade Calais Campbell? Like, man, that's tough. I might even look at re-signing him for at least another year. We might as well, right? Yeah, why not? Let's see if he wants to accept this offer. Okay, he wants more money. Maybe not. <laughs> we advance a week and we're 8-0. Like, this is wild. I haven't seen what any of the, you know stats or anything like that we've accumulated yet i'm just looking at the free agents trying to re-sign guys i do need to re-sign tyler huntley at week 17 so i gotta keep that in mind and dude do i re-sign calais i'm so i don't know what to do guys i don't know what to do i'll give him like 
bump it up one. 20 mil? One year 20 mil? Oh, he chose free agency. Um, I got too stingy, I guess. <laughs> the game that Tyler Huntley came in yesterday, surprise started and won. That's the first loss of our season in this uh, rebuild, in this franchise. That make it make sense. All right, a little bit of a spoiler because I see Tyler Huntley's a 71 overall with morale boost. But yeah, we got to re-sign him real quick. I'm just going to do what I always do. Give him a seven-year contract. Maybe, you know, bump everything up a little bit. Better re-sign here. Let's go. Tyler Huntley re-signed. We should be good. And it looks like he's doing really well if he's going up this much already. He started off as a 60 overall, guys. So, yeah, everyone else, I think I'm good to let go, man. I, I really am. I, I don't really care for these guys to come back, to be fair. So, And they're, like, over the age of 30. So, let's just move on. We are in week 17, and we are 12-3. and three, So, just two more games. Let's get into the playoffs. But it looks like we're going to lock up a bye, potentially, here. All right, so 13-4 is what we ended off with. We definitely got the bye here in the playoffs. What a first season. That, that's crazy to me. I did not think this season was going to go that well, but I guess we did get some beast, right, on offense. We, I mean, we trade for Justin Jefferson. We got uh, Dalvin Cook. So, yeah, I guess we're in a pretty good spot here. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, uh, man, I forgot to import the draft class. Oh, well, we'll just rock with, you know, whatever we got. Maybe we'll bring it in next season. It'll be kind of weird. But anyways, let's advance a week. Let's see. Now, the furthest I've ever gotten is the championship game one time, right? One time I've won the division game. So, I don't know, guys. I'm a little bit worried about this, but let's see what happens. We're going to sim it here. 13-4 and four, Baltimore Ravens versus the 10-7 and seven Jags. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. And we lose. <laughs> I can't win games in the playoffs, apparently. It's, it's a curse. I'm cursed in the playoffs. What the hell? How do we go 13-4 and four and then we lose? That's, that's wild to me. All right, well, let's check out the season recap here. Did we win MVP? We did not. Um, Panthers won the Super Bowl, beat the Chiefs. Shaq Thompson, <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. Okay. Um, Zeke got MVP, Mike McCarthy, Coach of the Year. Hmm. All right, all right. It looked like for most of the year we were going off. So, wow, Tyler Huntley, sixth in passing yards. Third in passing TDs. 4,856 yards passing, 42 touchdowns, 14 picks in year number one for Tyler Huntley. That is crazy. Did he have rushing yards for us? Only 90 rushing yards. Okay, two touchdowns. Um, just not running the ball as much. Dalvin Cook didn't have 1,000 yards rushing, which is a little bit surprising, but only 219 carries. 13 touchdowns, though, is very good. So I like that. Receiving's got to be pretty nice. Yeah, Justin Jefferson went off. Mark Andrews also had a big season for us, so... Very nice. Very, very nice to see. And unfortunately, we can't. We were one and done in the playoffs. Calais Campbell with 14 sacks. It's a shame we didn't re-sign him. Um, I guess I'll try to re-sign. Oh, no. I guess I can't, right? He's already testing free agency. We got too stingy with him. Justin Houston with 10 and a half sacks. Dang, do I try to bring back Calais Campbell? Might have to. Dude, we went up 10 overalls after year number one. He started off as a 60. He's 73 right now, but plus three morale boost. Dang, dude. Shot up to the 37th ranked QB in the game. Okay, cool. Still 86 speed, but dude, wow. His throwing attributes just skyrocketed on us. 88 short accuracy, 86 medium accuracy, 89 throw power. Dang. Okay. Okay. That's pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, Bateman only got star development, which is fine. Yeah, Justin Jefferson, 96 overall. Dalvin Cook, 98 overall. Sheesh. Sheesh, dude. Uh, Clay's Campbell actually went down overall. He is regressing. That's kind of why I'm okay with letting him go. But, yeah, other than that, we got to resign some. We're going to get guys back, which is good, but we got to make some moves. It actually didn't end up even mattering because Clay's Campbell retired. So, there you go. We got a little bit of cap space here. So, I guess we need some free agents. We need D tackles. We need a center. It's our top needs because we don't got any of them, it looks like. So, Let's, uh, I guess, focus on that. What centers are available here? Boom. Ben Jones, don't care. I guess we could just sign whoever for cheap, right? So, made a few offers here. Jaron Reed for one year. We're in the lead right now. I don't know if he's going to accept this still. Things could change. I didn't really, I just offered him the bare minimum that, or I guess the fair offer or whatever it was. And then Doug Costin has a star development, 24 years old. So, I figure, hey, let's try it. We got a slight edge. I might need to improve the offer a little bit, but figure why not. He's only 75 overall. He just got the development, right? And then for center, I guess Bradley Bozeman. There isn't really great center options. We might just have to draft someone at center. So 
yeah, those are probably the only offers right now that, or at least for needs, right? Those are the only needs we need. Now we can kind of focus on and see who else we could get, right? Took a look at what we need. We need a defensive end, and we also need a right tackle, actually, and a right guard. I didn't like the tackle options, so I have a uh, left end here, though, that I'm going to try to move to right end. If we could get him, Dean Lowry, a little star development. We'll see. I didn't offer him too much. We are in the lead, so I'm hoping that we at least we get one of these guys to sign with us. But, yeah, the right tackle options, not great. Left tackle options is pretty much just Teron Armstead, and that's about it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to chill. And then even, like, guards. Maybe I could offer James Daniels star development 82 overall. I'm going to actually do that. Let's offer him a contract. Actually, never mind. It has Kevin Zywood playing center right now. So, as long as we can sign a center, we don't really need a guard at least. So, I'm going to just skip a week. See if uh, any of these guys re-sign here. Or sign with us. Not re-sign, but actually sign with us. Hopefully, all of them. That will be cool, but... Yeah, and they all signed. Nice. Look at that, guys. Every single one of them signed with us. So we got Bozeman. We got Jaron Reed. We got a Doug Costin. And then we got, a, was it Dean Lowry? So nice. All right. We got some signings here. That's that's big. So this is what our team looks like heading into the draft. I guess we're probably targeting maybe a tackle, I would say, right? We could probably trade our guys, which actually might be the better move since we didn't import a draft class. It's going to be weird, but I might just import that draft class for next season. Um, and then maybe some, I mean, edge guys, right? That might be the move. Maybe a linebacker, something like that. We are going to get Deshaun Elliott back from injury, so we don't have to fill out the free safety spot. But corner, too. I guess we could take a look at corner. And there we go. Deshaun Elliott's back in the lineup. So Deshaun Elliott's back. Um, I guess Marcus Peters I don't see yet. But Ronnie Stanley's also back. Where is Marcus Peters? Oh, is he still hurt? Yeah, he's still hurt. All right. We'll get him back. So, we actually don't need to focus on corner too much. But I say edge guys, linebacker probably is our main thing. Again, I might just trade for some guys here. Oh, yeah, and tackle. All right, so we're in the NFL draft. So, we have two first-round picks, right? So, 18 is our next pick. And then I'm guessing we have 20-something. So, we could make a move here. <sighs> Man, it kind of sucks that we, I, I didn't put it in. Like, that, that's such a bad mistake by me, honestly. But... Ooh, could we trade up and get this guy here? Sean DeBose? Yeah, don't know much about him, though. This guy is a scheme fit here, Levi Franklin. So that this might be a guy we try to get here. I'm down to draft. Instead of trading, I'm down to draft this guy, potentially. Right? I don't know where he's ending up in the whole thing here. Levi Franklin, where is he at? Hopefully not super high. Ah, okay, yeah, I did pass him. He's number 11, so we might have to trade up here. Hmm... How can we trade up to 11? We, we might have to move into the top 10, honestly. So let's, uh, I guess, maybe potentially do that. Who even has the 10th pick? I have no idea. The other thing, too, is we don't have to take him, right? Because we have another need, which is linebacker. Mainly left outside linebacker. So what are we working with here on left outside linebacker? Colt Dwyer. I think, is he the number one guy? I saw him earlier. No, he's number nine. That's why I saw him earlier. Yeah, he's around the same area. Hmm... Okay. So, yeah, those two guys are probably our potential targets here. Colt Dwyer and then this guard. This, uh, yeah, Sean DeBose. Or, sorry, no, Levi Franklin is the guy. Yeah, Levi Franklin's the guy. So, at least we know he's a scheme fit. So, we might have to just try to get him first and then kind of worry about things later. So, I'm going to try to trade up into the 10th pick maybe i'm gonna skip ahead just to see what happens he could potentially get taken before we were able to trade up right but let me just uh let me just skip ahead see what happens here so first pick quarterback not a shock second pick left end danny fowler florida nice nice all right third pick we're good still all right so i just skipped ahead five picks here and we could i guess trade with what who is that the texans let me see if we trade with them or what we could do to trade with them. All right, so moving up to the 10th pick, we traded our 18, 92, and 107 pick. So, eh, not too bad. Three and a four to move up eight spots. I'm kind of down for. Now I'm just hoping that guard is there. I, I'd rather get the guard, but one of those guys. If we get one of those guys, I'll be fine. Okay, so Colt Dwyer just went. I think that was one of our guys, so this could be bad. <laughs> I don't know who else is available here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But I think that was one of the guys we we're looking at, right? So, let's see. Levi Franklin is still there. Yeah, that linebacker is definitely the guy we we're looking at earlier. But we're going to take Levi Franklin here. Fits our scheme. We need left guard. B pass blocking, B run blocking. Should be solid. Should be solid. So, there we go. Hopefully, he's good. 
Hopefully he's not ass. <laughs> yeah, skipping ahead to pick 28. I don't really like a lot of the options here. I might trade the pick here. All right, this is a huge trade, guys. This year's one, the number 28 pick that we just had, the second round pick, and then next year's two to get Lyle Collins, which fills out our right tackle spot, Michael Parsons, which helps us fix our, you know, outside linebacker issue, and then I had to throw someone else in, so I put in Gallimore here, which I guess we need more depth at D-tackle, right? So this actually worked out. I tried to get it to work out without Gallimore, and yeah, I mean, this is kind of how it worked out. So that's a big trade, fills out a lot of our needs, and... Yeah, I'm pretty much good with the draft there, so hopefully our right guard works out, but I'm, I can't believe this trade went through, guys. All right, so I accidentally uh, started this second season without starting my recording, but this is what the team is looking like. It hasn't changed at all. Maybe like a few people went up and overall, that's about it. We had to start the guard before the season started. Ben Powers was the higher overall, but we're starting the rookie left guard. We drafted number 10 overall, so we got to do it. Tyler Huntley, of course, our QB still, and then, yeah, it's just nice to see Ronnie Stanley back, Lael Collins as our right tackle. And then, yeah, even on the defensive side, great to see Marcus Peters back in the team, Deshaun Elliott, too, and then Micah Parsons joining the squad. So, yeah, um, I'm going to skip to the end of the first season or into the second season. Maybe we got to re-sign some people, but, yeah, I made an oopsie. Not a bad oopsie, but I'm glad I caught it. <laughs> Players to re-sign here. We got a few moves to make. We probably want to bring back both of these guys, Marcus Peters and Hollywood. The other guys could probably go. Um, yeah, Jaren Reed, one-year contract. We'll see how he plays out. I, I want to re-sign these two for sure. So let's see what we're working with. Marcus Peters, we'll give him three years. Although he's going to already start regressing, right? I think someone told me like at 28 they start regressing. So and he's 29. I'm going to give him a, a, a little bit of a contract. Three years. Hopefully it doesn't burn us. I'm going to do it. And boom, Marcus Peters re-signed. Now, Hollywood, on the other hand, we probably could give like a, yeah, a five-year contract. Just bump everything up a little bit. 70 years, five mil. I think so. He's what? An 88 overall? 86, 88 with the morale boost. So hopefully he accepts that. And he does. Nice. All right. We get both these guys back. And I'm pretty happy with that. The other guys, I don't know. I don't think we really need these guys, man. So or they're replaceable. So... See you later. <laughs> Interestingly enough, in year number two, we finished with the same exact record, but we finished second in our division. How in the world are we finishing second in our division with a 13 and 4 record? Like, what kind of simming is that, EA? That doesn't make any sense out here. The freaking Steelers finished 14 and 3. Like, what is going on? Also, you know what I realized? Forgot to import the draft class again. So we're just going to do this rebuild without the draft class, an, an actual draft class, which is fine. You know, it makes things a little bit more interesting maybe. But yeah, we got to play our playoff game. What I'm going to tell you guys right now, we're probably losing this. 92 overall offense. Our offense is cooking, guys, but we're probably going to lose this. Let me submit. Let's see what happens. I guarantee we lose. No, we didn't lose. Okay, we beat the Colts barely in the wild card round. We're playing our divisional game against the Patriots. Let's see what happens. Can we make it to the AFC Championship game? That'll be great, guys. I'll be down. I'll be down, boys. We made it to the AFC Championship game, and of course... <laughs> no! Dude, my nemesis. My rebuild nemesis here. The freaking Chiefs, man. Oh. The Chiefs... We have yet to beat the Chiefs, I think, at all. I don't even think we've beaten the Chiefs in the season when we did the Raiders one, the Nathan Peterman one. I don't think we've ever beat the Chiefs, so let's just advance. If we get into the Super Bowl, we might have to hop in, but let's just see. Come on. Did we beat the Chiefs? We lost to the Chiefs. <laughs> I can't beat them. Can't ever beat them. Can't ever beat them. Uh, yeah, we lost, what, 45-42. Yeah. Cool, I guess. We did have the number one offense, though, which is awesome to see. And, yeah, let's just recap the season. Did we win MVP? We did not. Wow, the Chiefs destroyed the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. Legarius Sneed Super Bowl MVP. Very uh, interesting. But Alvin Kamara MVP. Mike McCarthy again coach of the year. Two times in a row. Good for him, I guess. Absolute monster season from Tyler Huntley. We didn't even win MVP. That's crazy, man. Second in passing yards. First in passing TDs. Oh, 19 interceptions. That's probably what did us in. But 5,219 yards. 49 touchdowns. 19 picks. I am very excited to see what Tyler Huntley could do in year number three now. Dalvin Cook went off this year, too. God damn, 14 touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Sheesh. 
Um, wow, that is crazy. Justin Jefferson again cooking out here. So, wow, we actually had a monster year from a lot of guys here. So, that is very cool. How do we do on the defensive side? Did our new pickups do anything for us? Yeah, Michael Parsons, 14 sacks. Replaced Calais Campbell perfectly, beautifully. Odafe with eight and a half. So, that's cool. I like that. Dude, Chuck Clark had five picks. <laughs> Jeez, man. Five picks for Chuck Clark. Wow. All right. So, where do we finish in the MVP vote if Alvin Kamara won MVP fifth? We're not even the top QB here. That's crazy to see three running backs winning or in the top three for MVP. But Tom Brady outperformed us apparently. But fifth in the MVP vote, that's looking pretty good, guys. How do we not? Dude, Jonathan Taylor wasn't even in the MVP conversation, at least in the top five. And he wins Offensive Player of the Year over us. That's BS, man. That's BS. Yeah, to be fair, he was right behind us. So how do we finish ahead of an MVP, but he gets Offensive Player of the Year over us? I'm a little bit annoyed about that one. All right, so our guard ended up getting star development, which is awesome to see. Dude, Tyler Huntley is at superstar uh, development now. Whew. Sheesh, we might get him to superstar X-Factor, boys. 99 Justin Jefferson, 99 Dalvin Cook, too. Dang, so yeah, offense looking good. Mark Andrews at 98 overall. Wow, offense getting juiced up here, and defense still looking good. Marcus Peters is regressing, though, which is what I was worried about. So, all right, we might make some moves here. I might trade my draft picks, so... Let's see what happens. Let's try to sign this center, Rodney Hudson. He is a little bit on the older side, so only giving him a one-year contract, but he would be an upgrade over Bozeman. So I think that's about it, really, when it comes to uh, free agency. Maybe signing Jordan Poyer here over Chuck Clark. You know what? I'll give him a one-year deal. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we got both Rodney Hudson and Jordan Poyer on one-year contracts. Older guys, but they are technically upgrades, right? As long as they don't regress a shit ton. We're in a good spot, so yeah, I guess we'll hop into the draft. I might try to trade my picks. I think I still have a first round pick, so might try to trade that for something. Yeah, I got pick 29 in the draft, so you know, let's um let's try to trade for something. What do we need? What do we desperately need here? All right, uh weird kind of trade here, but I just traded Bozeman for Josh Sweat just because Bozeman's going to be our backup anyways, and I think he only has like a year left. Josh Sweat we got for two years. Um, kind of need more edge guys, so or defensive ends, so yeah, I don't know. I kind of didn't think this trade was going to go through, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make a bunch of trades, but it seems like cap is an issue for a lot of teams, so I think we're going to have to just end up drafting someone here or maybe trading up to draft someone. Um... I guess the position we're looking for, I don't even know what we're looking for, to be honest. Like, I guess another defensive end. Maybe a guard. Another guard just to, uh, because Kevin Zeiler is like 30, something like 34, something like that. So, we might have to pick up a guard here. Another guard, which uh, I'll be fine with, I guess. So, either this guy who might go early, maybe over here. B pass blocking, B run blocking. Hmm, we might be able to get him. Projected round one through two, Malik Bennett. I'm going to just sim ahead. I don't even want to trade up. I'm just going to sim ahead. If we can get one of those guys, that'll be cool. All right. So, yeah, this uh, Malik Bennett guy is still here. So, I'm going to just take him and we'll see what happens. You know, <laughs> maybe it's a mistake, but B pass blocking, B run blocking. I'm going to go for it. Why not? What? That was a weird pop up. But, yeah, we just trapped this guy and I don't know. We'll see how he looks. You know, hopefully he's good. <laughs> So this is what the team looks like before year number three. And honestly, the rookie we drafted, 75 overall, I might start him, guys. I might at least start him throughout the preseason just to see where he ends up. But I think I'm going to start him. 75 overall is a good start. I mean, it's better than what this guy started off, right? He was a 74 when he started off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start him. And actually, I guess plus one morale boost. So, never mind. It's probably the same overall. But I'm going to start the guard, you know. Start the brand new guy. Tyler Huntley, though, the main man here, 78 overall, or technically 77 overall, but we got a uh, morale boost here. So 78 overall, the 25th ranked QB in the NFL, 89 throw power, 90 medium accuracy, 90 throw short. Jeez, dude, okay. Yeah, looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good, so let's keep going up. He's got the superstar development now, which is awesome, and I don't know. Maybe we get him to Superstar X Factor. That'd be really cool. All right, I just sent through the preseason. I also forgot to uh, show the defense. So this is what the defense is looking like here. Marlin, 96. We do have Jordan Poyer over here now, 86 overall. He's probably going to regress, but it's okay. It's a one-year signing anyways, right? So, yeah, defense looking solid. I think it's a little bit more improved than last year. So let's see what happens, boys. Regular season time. 13-4 again? Maybe worse? It's possible we go worse than 13-4, but... 
playoffs. Oh boy, guys, we have to re-sign some people this year. Justin Jefferson, Justin Tucker, Ronnie Hudson, Jordan Porter, they probably could go. J.K. Dobbins, I kind of forgot about. Patrick Quinn will probably re-sign. Matt Abuike, yeah, we got some dudes to re-sign. I think at the very least, as I'm flying through this real quick, at the very least, we're going to re-sign. We're going to re-sign Matt Abuike, Patrick Queen, Justin Tucker, Justin Jefferson. So, I guess we, I mean, Justin Tucker, we don't need to re-sign. It's probably too much money, but I want to keep him. All right, Justin Jefferson is the main target here, though, or the main guy we got to re-sign. We got to give him a monster contract. Six years, we'll get it, like, 144-ish. See if he accepts that. That is a massive contract. And there we go. Justin Jefferson, 99 overall, has been re-signed. You know, I would give Justin Tucker one year. Come back for one year, Justin Tucker. Ugh, he wants more money. All right, uh, Patrick Queen, I'm going to give him a five-year contract, 42 and a half mil. Bumped it up a little bit. Should accept it, right? Yep, and he does. Very cool. He's back. He needs to start going up in overall, though, guys. We need more from him. And then Justin Matabuike. Three years, fine. Bump it up a little bit. 30.7 mil, and he accepts it. Beautiful. So we pretty much brought everyone back that we want, except for Justin Tucker, which, like, I don't know. Could we use the money elsewhere is the real question, right? All these other guys, I'm probably fine letting them go. Okay, we did a little bit worse this year. 12-5 and five again. Somehow didn't win the division at 12-5. and five. How did the Browns also get 12-5? and five? I don't understand it. We're playing a wild card game here, though, against the Chargers. 93 overall offense, boys. So our offense, again, looking very good. Can we win this playoff game? We'll see. I don't, I'm not feeling confident if we finish second and we lose to the Chargers. 31-28. Number one offense again, though, boys. So let me sim to the end of the year, and then uh, we'll check out how uh, Tyler Huntley and the boys are looking. 2023 season recap. Season number three recap, and we win the MVP, guys. Tyler Huntley MVP. Hell yeah, baby. Love to see that. The Packers win the Super Bowl. Aaron Jones, Super Bowl MVP. But dude, Tyler Huntley won MVP for us. That's awesome. That is so cool. I can't wait to see what kind of stats he put up. Tyler Huntley, second in passing yards, second in passing TDs. Okay, but wow, cut down the interceptions big time. So 5,262 yards, 47 touchdowns, seven picks. We had, what, 19 picks last year? That's why we did an MVP. So glad we won it this year. Do we have any rushing yards? Only 77 rushing yards. I mean, he's got speed, but I guess in the offense we're in, we're not really uh, running the ball to the quarterback too much. Also, do we have to with Dalvin Cook? Putting up these numbers here, 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I can see why we're the number one offense for sure. Uh, Receiving-wise, yeah, Justin Jefferson's still going off. I mean, a lot of guys putting up big numbers still for us, so love that. And then the defensive side here, what do we got? Let me see some sacks. 12 and a half sacks for Micah Parsons, down a little bit. Josh Sweat, brand new guy, nine and a half sacks for us. That's cool. Matabuiga got seven. Owe got four and a half. What about picks? Marlon with five picks. Jordan Boyer with four. Patrick Queen with three. Malik Harrison even got some picks. Okay. Wow, that is very surprising. So, Monster, that didn't turn into any playoff wins, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're number four, guys. Actually, let's see what Tyler Huntley's looking like. Oh, Tyler Huntley, gentlemen, is a superstar X Factor now. Damn. I actually have only been doing auto uh, upgrades on... Tyler Huntley, so yeah, um, I don't even know what I've been upgrading. <laughs> All right, so after giving him some upgrades, we are up to, I think it's an 83, yeah, plus four morale boost, so 83 overall, 15th ranked QB right now, and dude, those medium and short accuracy has got a massive jump. Wow, we're in the high 90s with that. Get the deep accuracy up, get more bombs out here, but I mean, we already won MVP. Speed went up one too, 87 speed, so that is awesome, guys. I, I'm, I mean... I'm just already happy that we're at a Superstar X Factor. That is very cool to see. So, um, I would love to win a Super Bowl. That'd be cool. We got, like, maybe a year or two left. Although, Tyler Huntley is super young. I mean, only 26, guys. Do I give Jordan Porter another contract? He kind of looked like he went off this year. So, I'm thinking about it. I might just give both of these guys new contracts. So, we don't have to worry about signing those guys. But, Justin Tucker, we want him back, all right? We want him back. I'm going to give him a two-year deal. How about that? You want a two-year deal, Justin Tucker? I bumped it up a little bit. There you go. Thank you for re-signing, sir. I appreciate that. Ronnie Hudson had an 80, eight, I mean, 86 of the morale boost, but 83 overall. Maybe he takes this. Cool. Ronnie Hudson re-signed for another year. And you know what? I'll give Jordan Porter another contract. We'll give him a, 
I'm just going to bump this up one each. 7.48. And he's going into free agency. So, see you later, I guess. Oh, I just realized our guards are up to 80s, too. That is awesome. I mean, we've drafted both of those guys, right? So, filling out our O-line. Our O-line look really good. Looks really, really good. So, all right. Uh, needs going into free agency. What do we even need out here? Uh, I guess another linebacker, right? We're going to probably need a linebacker. Oh, and a strong safety. Okay, so linebacker strong safety is what we're aiming at. Could also make trades with our draft picks. Uh, I see why Jordan Poyer wanted to go into free agency. Because, uh, yeah, he's the best strong safety in this uh, free agency class. I don't know. I don't really feel like signing anyone here. I might have to make some trades, guys. I I'm not really digging any of these options. I guess we could check out the top 100 real quick. But, yeah, I think we're going to uh, the draft. Maybe make some trades. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so we're hopping into the NFL draft. Pick 24. I guess we could take a quick look at the draft board here uh, to see. Wow, our op we are set on offense. It is defense that we need to improve here. So we need strong safety. We need left end. It, we, it says that we got another one. Although I think we do have actual ends right now. It's just uh, we need strong safety for sure. So let's see what our options are. We I'm down to draft someone here. Ooh. I'm not down to draft the strong safety. We're going to have to make a trade for that. <laughs> oh, there are no safeties in this class. Ooh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Left end. We got a top five talent here in James Goddard. And Forrest Craig, a first round guy. Okay, so can we get ourselves into the first round? I guess I can just trade my picks into the first round. I don't really mind doing that. He is number four overall prospect. Okay. My, I'm, I might be down for that. I might be down for that. Have we scouted this guy at all? Oh, Oh, this guy looking pretty good. And I think we got to get him, guys, because uh, he is a top fit for us. So I might I might be making some moves here, guys. I might I might move up into the first spot. All right. Yeah, we had to do a little bit here. I, maybe I could have waited, risked it, see if we could get a lower pick. But we sent this year's first, next year's first, and this year's second round pick to get the number one overall pick. We're going to get our guy because he looks good. I want him. All right, here we go. We're going to draft our guy, James Goddard here. Left end. Top fit is us. We're drafting him. Boom. There we go. And, yeah, we'll see how that goes. 79 speed, 81 strength, 87 excel. So, I'm really hoping that this guy's a beast. <laughs> Otherwise, we wasted some picks here, guys. We got to get our defense up, man. That is the key. Also, we still don't have a strong safety. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just thought about that um maybe we can make a move real quick for one all right so yeah we made the move for a strong safety jabril peppers for a two five and seven it's a little bit there you know give up a second round pick but we do get our strong safety guys so that's the more important thing we i want to win the super bowl this year kind of so this is probably our best opportunity the team is looking pretty good let's check out the team actually so going into what is it year number four Team is looking great, at least offensively. Offensively, this is a monster, monster team. I mean, just look at all these guys around here. Tyler Hundley, of course, we've already looked at him, but I guess we can check him out again. 83 overall. This is what he's looking like. Very, very good. 15th ranked QB in the league, even though we just won the MVP. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're the number one QB. We're the number one QB going into this year with the weapons we got. Defensively, um, we actually are not a super high overall on defense, but... I feel pretty good about this defense, guys. Jabril Peppers is a huge addition for us. So, yeah, I kind of want to win, win it this year. Marcus Peters has regressed a lot, by the way. I just kind of realized that now. 84 overall. Maybe we should make a move for a corner this year. I might be down for that. The guy we draft is a 75 overall. Do I try to start him somewhere? Hmm. Maybe not. I'm just going to hop into it. Let's see what happens here. Year number four. I still feel pretty good. 81 defense is a little worrying, but I, I still feel pretty good about this. All right, so we do need to re-sign some guys. A decent bit of people we got to re-sign. Pretty much from Doug Costin all the way up, we got to re-sign here. So this might be tough. We're, I think we're kind of low on cap space too. Although, let me see. 57 mil. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Let's see if we get Micah Parsons back here. I'll give him a six-year contract, 108. And he needs more money. Mm, I don't like that. Lael Collins, our right tackle. He is older now at 31. I'll bump it up a little bit, see if he comes back. And there we go. We got our right tackle back. 90 overall right now. Love to see that. Odafe Owe, uh, monster IO right now. See if we get him back with that 72. And he does. Re-resigns. -re That's beautiful. 
We got Odafe back. Rashad Bateman is an interesting one because he really... I mean, he's been putting up numbers for us. So, you know what? I'll bring him back. We'll give him, like, a pretty big contract, I would say. Just so we could spread the years out a little bit, right? So, maybe that. There we go. We got Rashad Bateman back beautiful i mean <laughs> let's be real we ain't gonna be playing six more years I ain't, I ain't too worried about it and then josh sweat's an interesting one because we just drafted a, a defensive end so we really don't need to bring back josh sweat to be fair and we're also starting to run out of uh money <laughs> is kind of what i'm seeing so uh, we might have to make some tough decisions this might be a full send here honestly all right let's see if we can get micah parsons back here so he wanted more money. Can we get him to 110? Six years, 110? Oh, he wants more money still. Come on. How much more money do you want, bro? All right. I'll give him, like, a little bit more bonus. Let's go. Let's go there. You know, I'll, I'll jack it up a little bit more. 111. Please take that. Please. Thank you. Okay, we re-signed Micah Parsons. Thank you. Oh, my God. Ooh, that got scary. Okay, so now... Those are the main guys we want. And then the next few we could think about. Josh Sweat's an 85, so I feel like we should try to bring him back. Um, ugh, yeah, I don't know, though. <laughs> you know what? I'll just offer him the minimum here, and he resigns. Cool. Very nice. These two. Hmm. What do we do about these two? Rodney Hudson's getting up there, so I'm going to focus more on Doug Costin, too. We have no cap. No cap, but Doug Costin does resign. So, yeah, I don't even know if we could bring back Rodney Hudson. Yeah, we can't even afford him. <laughs> so, yikes. Um, this might be the last year. <laughs> I'm handing out too much money. By the way, we're 7-1 right now, so let's advance to the playoffs. What a season, guys. What a year, dude. 16-1. and one. What? We lost only one game. That's crazy. And it was early on in the season, too. 16-1. and one. Dude, I'm going to be so disappointed when we lose because you already know what's happening. You already know we're losing. You already know. All right, let's advance to the division round. Let's see who we're going to play. Since we did get the bye, of course, I hope we would get the bye at 16-1. And we play the New England Patriots of the Vita Vea. Okay. 97 overall offense, 91 overall team. Don't let me down, man. Do not let me down here. Just beat the Patriots. We'll move on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. AFC Championship. Our nemesis is back. The Kansas City Chiefs. Is this finally the time we beat the Kansas City Chiefs? Again, in all of my rebuild videos, haven't beaten them yet. Not one time. It hasn't. <laughs> is it going to be the time now? Oh, man. I, we face them every rebuild, too, because we've been only using AFC teams so far. All right. Without further ado, oh, I'm scared about this. Please, please finally beat the Chiefs. Please. It's never happening, man. It's never happening. We're never going to beat the Chiefs. It's just never happening. Like, what the fuck? We lose 28-25. 16-1. Probably the number one overall offense. We lose to the Chiefs again. I, it, they're impossible to beat. What the hell, dude? All right, well, season recap. You're number four, and Patrick Mahomes wins MVP. We won Coach of the Year, though, so... Yay, I guess. Checking out the stats. We didn't win MVP, which is a little surprising. Second in passing TDs, second in passing yards. All right. So I'm guessing Patrick Mahomes just put up monster numbers, right? 5,168 yards, 49 touchdowns, nine picks for Tyler Huntley. Once again, another monster year. Dalvin Cook, 19 touchdowns for Dalvin Cook. Jeez. You know, he might be someone that we trade, by the way. We could just get rid of him. I know that's crazy because he's going off, but if we need if we need more cap, we could trade him. But also, why would I trade him? He's 99 overall. Uh, Tyler Huntley got uh, 100 yards rushing. Nice. Receiving-wise, 3,000-yard receivers. And Rashad Bateman got close to 1,000 yards. Wow. That's crazy. And then defensively, how do we do defensively? Is defense going to be the problem? 13 and a half sacks for Micah Parsons. Matt Abuike with 7 and a half. Joshua with 7. Odafe always 6. Ugh, our, yeah, our draft pick didn't really play that much, so that's probably not great for his development. We finished third in the MVP vote, and we didn't even finish second, so yeah, that sucks. And, I mean, it's going to be the same for the AFC Offense Player of the Year, so there you go. Patrick Queen finished fourth in Defensive Player of the Year, so good for him. Yeah, we don't really have anything to work with in this draft, so this is a kind of a yikes, honestly. Uh, we can only skip ahead. I also have no cap. 
No draft picks. I've screwed myself. I'm the Rams. I've screwed myself. Dude, we actually had such a sick year and we lost to the Chiefs. Number one offense, number seven defense when it comes to points per game. That's crazy, man. But yeah, pass defense, I guess, just isn't there. So I don't know what I could really do. I got no cap space. I can't do anything right now. Uh, this might be a disaster year. We'll see. Tyler Huntley, 87 overall, guys. Nice. Okay, so he is the 13th ranked QB in the league. How are we not a top 10 QB? I guess we just got to keep upgrading, but... Yeah, throwing attribute looking amazing here. Still 87 speed. Yeah, he's looking pretty nice. But I think he does start aggressing at 28, right? So this might be fine here. We'll see. I mean, we how, how much more can we do? 16 and 1. We, we just we finished 16 and 1. So, like, obviously we can win the Super Bowl. But, like, seriously, like, what more can I do? Now, uh, yeah, I am starting a uh, rookie um, at center. So, yeah. <laughs> That's, you know, that it is what it is. Uh, Patrick Queen, by the way, Superstar X Factor now, and I think Marcus Peters was star development earlier, so Superstar now again, but he's older, he's gonna start regressing, and he might be a problem, but again, there's nothing I can really do about it, so we're gonna just play through this, I think year number five. Probably going to do worse than 16-1, but who knows? We got to re-sign Dalvin Cook. I'm going to just have to let him go. We might just straight up trade him. Oh, we got cap space, though, if we don't sign him. Yeah, we might have to do that. Mark Andrews, Ronnie Stanley, Jarrell Peppers, one of our rookies. Okay, okay. This is actually not that bad. We might be able to last one here. Dalvin Cook. Hmm. Yeah, I just can't re-sign him. That's pretty much what it comes down to if we want to keep it up here uh ronnie stanley first off i will try to resign give me like three years see if he we'll bump it up a little bit and then see if he takes it and he does ronnie stanley resigns with us beautiful mark andrews we could bring back he is starting to get older he wants five-year contract damn all right i'll just give it to him he wants more money of course he does justin tucker i think we gotta just let justin tucker go at this point he's regressing too by the way uh, our left guard that we uh, drafted, what, a few years ago now, up to an 89 or 86, we'll give him, I'll give him a four-year contract, accept it, let's go, we brought him back, beautiful, Marcus Pierce, 32, he can probably go, yeah, 81 overall, we really need a um, younger, better corner, I might actually trade for a corner here, I wonder if I could trade Dalvin Cook for a corner in like another decent halfback. Let's see if that's possible. Drill Peppers is back, though. That is beautiful. And outside of that, yeah, I think Dalvin Cook, we might have to trade, guys. All right, and we did it. Oh, I might have been able to get a little bit more, but Dalvin Cook for Jalen Johnson and David Montgomery. Um, they're under contract for a few more years, too, so that actually kind of works out for us. And, yeah, we don't got to – I mean, we weren't going to re-sign Dalvin Cook anyways. It sucks to see 99 go. Probably could have gotten more from it. I wasn't actually sure if they would take this originally, so probably could have gotten a little bit more, but, hey. We take those, and that beefs up our corner spot big time. Ooh, the draft pick from last year is a superstar development guy. We got to start him. We definitely got to start him. Um, Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Matabike. Actually, I might move Matabike to uh, the defensive tackle. I'm going to do that. Yeah, Matabike is a 92 overall defensive tackle. This is definitely the right move here. So we got that. Could we make a move for a middle linebacker and a center? Now, nah, I'm probably, I'm probably just going to stick with this. I think Jalen Johnson is going to improve our defense, so let's just get into it, man. Let's play the rest of the year. 3-3 three and three is bad, but I'm feeling better, you know, after that trade. Hey, we made the playoffs, so that's all we can hope for. 11-6. and six. It's crazy, like, some of these records we have that we don't win the division with. Absolutely crazy, but we're facing the Jets in the wild card round. Just see what happens, you know. Maybe we'll win it. Maybe we won't. I don't know, but team, I mean, we're 96 offense. Is that what it said? And we lose... Uh, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? So, all right. Just, all right. Whatever. <laughs> I don't, uh, we just can't win in the playoffs, apparently. All right. Let's check out the recap of year number five. I don't think we won the MVP. Yeah, we did not. We didn't We didn't win anything. Uh, of course, Chiefs is in the Super Bowl again. So, we probably would have lost to the Chiefs again anyways. Because they're just that good. So, Panthers win the Super Bowl, though. Very interesting. Hassan Reddick MVP. Or, Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes won another MVP. Shocker. Shocker of the century. What did Tyler Huntley do this year? Second in passing yards. Third in passing TDs. Passing TDs number went down. I don't like that. More picks too. Double digit picks are back. 
Come on, what's going on here, guys? What's going on? Dave Montgomery, solid year. I'm sure that wasn't all with us, but anyways, Justin Jefferson, monster year again. And then, ooh, Hollywood kind of fell off for us, huh? That's interesting. Hmm, I don't like that. All right, let's check out the defense here, though. Sack numbers were way down for us. Matabuike, by the way, moving Matabuike to defensive tackle seeming like the right call here, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I can do, but this might be the last year. Sixth year, I think this is going to be our last year, guys. So let's try to make some improvements. I think we got some cap space, I want to say. I'm hoping. <laughs> and we got draft picks, at least. So full send. It's time to full send. All right. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot to try to re-sign Mark Andrews. So let's try to do that. Although he is getting up there, boys. He's 30 years old. Maybe we could sign him and then just flip the contract. What did he want? I forgot what he wanted. Just more money? No, contract length is good, and that's it. Okay, so he wants more money. Take it. All right. How about how about 66.9? 69. Nice. He's going to test that free agency. All right. Well, fuck you then, Mark Andrews. <laughs> Screw you, man. Oh, franchise tag. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> and and yeah, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to let Justin Tucker go. He's 36. Uh, it, it hurts me. It hurts me to let him go, but... He was like 90-some overall, and now he's an 86. He's regressing, boys, so. You would like to play for a new team next year. Well, all right, well, fuck you too, then. <laughs> all right, so we got $24.5 million to work with here. Can't, do we pick someone up? What can we do with that? Wow, there are no good free agents, so. All right. I'm trying to think what we even need here, right? I guess we definitely need a center, so. Maybe draft a center, but I feel like we can make a trade. Center, linebacker. We don't even need, like, a big linebacker either. And then, is Deshaun Elliott regressing? It looks like it. All right, big trade here because, once again, this is probably going to be our last season. So, first, second, and next year's second for Javon Holland, Jerome Baker, and a center that I guess we could start. So, there we go. That filled out a lot of our spots. And maybe we can make some improvements here and there. But, yeah, I'm pretty good with that. All right, we are going into year number six. 95 overall, all right? 95 across the board here. And then taking a look at the team, this is what it's looking like. I guess Lyle Collins is regressing a little bit. Dude, look at these guards that we drafted, though. 90 overall, 88 overall. Beautiful. And, yeah, I mean, this is a really, really great team here. So, this is probably as best as we could do here, okay? Justin Jefferson's still 99. I mean, Bateman's even up to a 90. Dave Montgomery, of course, is here. And then our main guy, Tyler Huntley, up to a 91 overall here. Number eight overall QB. We're finally in the top 10. That's a beautiful sight to see. And, I mean, he's got some great-looking attributes. So, yeah. Monster year for him, hopefully, right? That's all we can hope for. Another monster year, maybe another MVP. And, of course, on the defense side, we just juiced it up with that trade with the Dolphins. So, Javon Holland, 90 overall. I mean, look at all these 90-plus guys on the team. That is awesome, dude. That is very, very cool. So, I'm hoping for the best here, guys. I'm hoping for the best. Also, Michael Parsons is a 97. Dang, dude. So, yeah. Can only hope for the best. All right. Um, somehow, <laughs> somehow with this team, 10 and 7, our worst record yet. So, it's not looking good. We're in the wild card here. We won the division. Somehow, 10 and 7 wins us the division. But, was it, 13 and 4 didn't win us the division earlier? Oh, man. Yep, just advance. I mean... See what happens, right? We'll see what happens. And we lose. Cool. All right. Well, this is over. <laughs> 16 in one year was our best chance. All right. I don't even know what happened here, guys. But let's see. Uh, Baker Mayfield for the Raiders wants to MVP. The Packers went back to back. The Chargers went to the Super Bowl. And we lost to the Chargers. Number three offense. Man, we had the number one offense forever. And now we're going down. Here. Also, number 19 defense. What happened, boys? What happened out here? That's weird. I am so confused. How do we not win MVP? First in passing yards, first in touchdowns, don't win MVP. 18 picks. Why are we throwing so many picks? 24 touchdowns. Oh, my God. 24 touchdowns. How did Justin Jefferson not win MVP? I, he probably got some MVP votes. We're going to have to check that out. 24 receiving touchdowns. Dang. Okay. Defensively. 12 sacks for Michael Parsons. I mean, what went wrong for us? Ah, oh, man. That's that's wild. Just gave up too many points, I guess. So, um, yeah. Let's check out the yearly awards. Let's see where we finish in MVP voting. And we finish fourth in MVP. Wow. 
First in touchdowns, first in yards, fourth in MVP. It's those picks, man. Those picks. A little bit surprised Justin Jefferson didn't get on here for 24 touchdowns. Let's see if we got into the offensive player of the year voting. Uh, where we finished second to Baker on the Raiders. <laughs> Justin Jefferson finished eighth in offensive player of the year. All right, so I didn't try to re-sign anyone. I guess I could try to re-sign some guys here, and then we'll see. If we could get some guys, I'm down to keep trying. If not, then uh, we might have to just give it up here. So uh, this right guard, yeah, we're, we're going to have to give him a, a pretty significant contract, which I'm all for, so please sign it. Thank you. Okay, we got our right guard back. Monster right guard that we drafted a while ago. Sean Elliott can go. Matabike has been pretty good for us. Um, at a 95 overall now. Dang, dude. Hopefully he takes this deal. Nice. Okay. Matt Abike is back. That is cool. Mark Andrews, I don't know about. Marlon, though, even though he's older, he's still a 98 overall. He's still balling out for us. We'll give him, we'll give him that. Takes it. Yes. Marlon's back for another year. That is awesome. And then Mark Andrews. What do we do about Mark Andrews? Four-year deal as a 31-year-old tight end. Still pretty high overall, though. Let's offer it. He's still not interested in side. Do we franchise him again? Uh, Mark Andrews wants to go. We got to just let him go. Get out of here. Dude, we might be able to get Tyler Hunter at 99 overall. We got to keep playing. All right, so we got to get a right tackle. We got to get a tight end since Mark Andrews wanted to leave so bad. Um, and then defensively, I mean, we're sitting pretty well on defense. This guy's up to an 87 that we drafted, which is very cool to see. So, yeah, our focus, right tackle, tight end. Let's see if we get some free agents from that. If not, probably a trade or a draft. I mean, I don't, haven't really been drafted. The guys we've been drafting have been uh, pretty good for us, though. So, maybe we should draft some more guys. But 38 mil in free agency, right tackle, tight end. That's what we need here. Can we get a right tackle or tight end? Mark Hedges is the highest overall free agent. No wonder. No wonder why he wanted to go, dude. All right, yeah, massive trade here. Full send time. Kyle Pitts, 99 overall for two ones and a two. Again, this is probably going to be the final year, and that's our replacement. Mark Andrews wanted to go. Hey, we just got an upgrade, so we'll take that. Uh, do need a tackle still, though. All right, I actually kind of surprised this went through, but two threes and a four for Braden Smith. I actually tried to get a lower overall guy, like a guy that's lower overall than Braden Smith. And it got rejected. So I'm actually very shocked that this went through. So that's big. All right. Right tackle. Tight end. Replaced. Done. All right. So heading into year seven, this is definitely going to be the final year we're going to play. 96 offense, 92 defense, 94 overall. Looking pretty good. I mean, especially on offense, we just reloaded, right? So all around, I mean, Kyle Pitts, 99. We got two 99 uh, targets for Tyler Huntley. O-line looking very good again. And, yeah, let's check out Tyler Huntley real quick. 93 overall now. He is the number eight overall quarterback still. And, yeah, I don't think he's actually changed all that much. So, that's fine. Wow, dude. 16 and 1, boys. Oh, this is the best way to go out. 16 and 1. Should have been probably undefeated. We lost in the final week, as you guys can see right there. So, maybe CPU rest the guys. I don't know. I don't know if it does that. I have no idea. But, 16 and 1. Okay. This is our best opportunity. If we don't win it with this, then it's just never going to happen, you know? So we're playing the Colts, 9-8 and Colts, 16-1 and Ravens here, 97 offense. I swear if we lose this, <laughs> I'm going to be upset. All right, we won that game, 42-28. Next game, the Vegas Raiders with, uh, I guess, Baker Mayfield, right, that we saw last year. So let's advance this one. Hopefully we beat the Raiders. That will be cool. I don't get it. I don't get this game, boys. I don't get it. We lost to the Raiders. Yep. I don't get it. Season recap. Oh, that was our chance, too. That was our chance. Tyler Huntley, second MVP. And, yeah, the Raiders made it to the Super Bowl. So, and they lost. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, man. How do we? I just don't get it. We already saw Tyler Huntley got MVP. 5,500 yards and 46 touches. Wow. Only five picks. Yeah. Deserved MVP right there. Uh, rushing wise, Dave Montgomery solid, and yeah, three thousand yard receivers, nice. Kyle Pitts almost had a thousand yards too, so very good year for the offense. Defensively, did anyone go off for us on defense? Yeah, this guy, dude, this guy we drafted a few years ago, fifteen sacks, awesome, 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 awesome. Any picks for the boys? Patrick Queen with five, so cool. 
But yeah, guys, final look at the team. Oh, my God. 98 overall with a morale boost. Oh, do I keep going? <laughs> I'm gonna keep editing this video, but then I see this man 98 overall through morale boost. Like, we went up in overall. Oh Man, but dude, we were just 16 to 1 like how much better could we even do at this point? Ooh, ooh, man, 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 man ugh. Marlon Humphrey does he want to come back here? We'll give him another one-year contract and he's gonna go into free agency. That's fine I don't think that's too big of a deal. Maybe we'll full send try to although Ooh, we used our first round pick, huh? Oh no, we got we get one for next year too, so we could try that. Dave Montgomery, I'm I kind of don't. Eh, all right. What? How old is he? 31. Nah, we don't need to re-sign him either. Hollywood, nah. <laughs> we only really need to re-sign one guy, which is our uh, left end here that just absolutely went off this year. So massive contract for him incoming. Um, we got the funds to do it. So I'm going to give him a giant contract because he deserves it. And he's a 94 overall. And I mean, we made sure we made sure to bring him back. So there we go. 94 overall or 90 overall with the morale boost now or 94 overall with the morale boost. So that was only the real guy that we want to bring back. Let's go into free agency. I guess you're eight to possibility here, boys. <laughs> yeah, we got to get corner. We got to get another corner. We got to get another N, maybe another linebacker. Although, backup linebacker isn't too bad. Although, Patrick Queen is a 99 overall. Jeez, I didn't even see that. Dang. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. So, I say left end, or sorry, right end, and I guess a halfback is kind of what we need here. And a corner. So, corner, uh, right end, halfback. Is our guys always the highest overall players? Like, what is going on here, man? I guess I should probably re-sign Marlon, right? Like... We got the funds. We got 75 million cap. Like, do you want a two-year deal, bro? So I don't have to deal with you next year. Like, what, what are we doing? Doing 34? Two-year 34? Ooh, it looks like other guys are offering more. Wow, we're not even close. Jeez. Dolphins are offering him a monster contract. Okay, maybe that's not the move. I'm going to try to get this Michael Martinez guy. I offer, I mean, I'm in the lead right now, right? So he's going to be the backup anyways, but he's got a superstar development, so... Could work out. All right, let's advance a week and see if uh, these guys sign with us. I mean, we're in the lead for all of them, right? So, for the most part, we should get everything accepted here. But maybe someone rejects us. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Uh, it's a disaster, gentlemen, as J.K. Dobbins does not want to come back. Quitty pay. Oh, jeez. The only contract we got accepted was the backup middle linebacker, which is not ideal. Oh, no. I'm just going to offer A.J. Dillon. Why not? Scheme fit. Not a high overall, but we're more focused on Tyler Huntley anyways. But we lost some pieces here, dude. We lost some big pieces here. Dude, we couldn't even get Denzel Ward. We got A.J. Dillon, so I guess we got a running back. Not a great one, but we... Oh, this is so bad. All right, I'm going to offer LeJarius Steed a stupid contract, dude. Like, that's so much. That's so much for him. 85 overall, 31-year-old. I probably shouldn't even do this, to be honest. But I guess I am. And we did get Legereus Sneed, so that's cool. All right. Um, the next thing we're going to do, well, I guess we're going to go into the draft, but I'm not going to draft anyone. I'm just going to trade. I'm going to try to get a big trade. All right. Yeah. Last trade, probably right in in a center. Just, yeah, create a guys for next year's one and two in a center. I'm full sending it. Like, I full sent it last season, and that's why I didn't really have too much to work with, but. Hopefully, this gets us to at least 99 overall. That's all I'm really caring about. If we get to the Super Bowl, that'd be great. But this has gone on long enough already. So, let me just get into the next season. <laughs> all right. This is definitely the final season, guys. This is what we're working with. 99 Justin Jefferson. Tyler Huntley is a 94. We did downgrade at running back, unfortunately. But, hey. Had to make some sacrifices. Actually, we just couldn't re-sign him. So, um, yeah. This is what Tyler Huntley is looking like now. Where is he at? Number nine. Where, there's better quarterbacks than us now. There's another better quarterback than us. This is BS. But yeah, Tyler Huntley is looking very good. So still hasn't hit that regression quite yet. But yeah, I mean, age 30 now, right? So you should start regressing here. This is our last chance at 99 overall. Defensively, um, defense actually ended up becoming really, really good for us. So um, we drafted well. I mean, we the guys, when we did draft, we've done pretty well, you know, with these 94, 93, I think our end over here is a superstar 92 so he might get up to 99 eventually too if we stick with this but we're not gonna okay let's get into this season i'm just sipping it all the way this is the final one eighth year 
it's too many years. Too many years for a rebuild. It's it's done. It's over with. I guess it's not technically a rebuild, but it is and it isn't, you know? I don't know. It's weird because the Ravens are already a good team. So, like, can you even consider this a rebuild? I don't know. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we got the number one overall seed again at 13-4. and four. We beat the Raiders this year, as I can see there. But let's see what happens. Uh, hey, we've been getting the one seed a lot. So I think we had a huge starting point. So it, it wasn't that hard to do. But two 16-1 years, another number one seed. We're playing the Jags here. Nine and eight Jags in the divisional round. And I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting us to lose at this point. And we did not. Okay, we won the game. We're playing the Colts in the AFC Championship here. Ooh, please. Now's the time. Now is the time. Can we get past this hill that is the AFC Championship? And we do. We get in the Super Bowl. We get in the Super Bowl in the last year. Let's go, boys. We finally did it. Oh, now I got to hop in. Now I got to hop into the game here. So, whoo, we are playing the Packers in the Super Bowl. And you know what? We got to check out the roster. We got to see if we're a 99 overall. That's kind of the main thing I want to see. Give me 99 overall. Let's go, boys. I know it's a morale boost, but 99 overall. Okay. Um, I don't know how I want to hop into this, but, man, this is so nice. Dude, this guy's a 96 that we drafted. Sheesh, dude. All right, so, yeah, 99 overall. Tyler Huntley, before we get into the Super Bowl here, number six ranked QB. Wow, 99 deep accuracy, 99 medium, all 99s. Accuracy attributes, all 99s. That is awesome, dude. So, yeah, I guess there's five other 99 overall QBs. Like, I don't get it, but... All right, um, let's get into the Super Bowl, guys. We're hopping into it. Here we go. We are going into the Super Bowl. We finally did it. It's finally happened. And I'm hyped, boys. I am so hyped. Tyler Huntley leading us to the promised land here. Hopefully, we get that. Though. Look at him. Look at him coming running out of the tunnel. Love it. Oh, yeah. I forgot Jordan Love's been winning Super Bowls for them, too. So, Packers have been pretty good. But we're going to be better. We're winning this shit. Do we win the toss? I don't know if we won the toss. Looks like we won the toss. I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, I am only going to play the offense and maybe just a few plays, but I want to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's got to happen. Can I hit the deep ball? Oh, no. I'm going to throw picks out here, aren't I? I gotta be careful. <laughs> I also have no idea what abilities I have on, so... Bulldozer? <laughs> what? Bulldozer, dude? That's crazy. Can we run? We can run a little bit. Dump that off. Nice. All right, fresh set of downs. Tyler Huntley, I want some big plays with you, bro. Oh, no. We got hit as we threw it. That sucks. We're selling. Can I cheese against CPU? A little PA boot action? I'm gonna try. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh no, oh no, I didn't mean <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we were down 14 nothing. It looks like we got a pick six and then they got a field goal. So we're back in the game. I gotta I'm selling out here. Oh, that's a big play though. Tyler Huntley to I think that's Kyle Pitts. Nice. I was thinking it was gonna be too easy, you know. I can do whatever I want, but no, nope, that's not the case. We gotta be calm here. Gotta be calm. I could just oh I thought I could take off. I need to feed Justin Jefferson. That's the move, right? That's what I got to do. Whew, I'm, being, I'm being dangerous out here, but I'm feeding the beast. That's a first down. All right, I think we go for this fourth down. CP is probably sending heat here, right? We got that. That's open. I don't know who that is. I'll take it, though. That's a big touchdown for us. We're only down by three points, guys, in the Super Bowl. Tyler Huntley, Tuddy. All right, well, man, struggle first half, but only down by uh, six points. So it's not all around bad, right? Oh. He's so open. I almost missed it. That's a beauty from Tyler Huntley, though. I need this bad. I'm going to just run it here. Maybe a block up Freel. Yeah, first down. Dude, I did not think playing a franchise game will be uh, as hard as it has been, but we're focused up now. Looks like our guy is out for this play, but we could get that. There you go. First down, I think. Ah, those are two big sheds there. We got to go for it. I need touchdowns, you know. I need tutties. Triangle, please complete that. Thank you. Justin Jefferson, all reliable. Dude, I'm in like some tough spots right now. Dang, dude. Okay, throw that underneath. It's a good catch. This has been a great drive for us, but we got to finish it, man. We got to finish the drive. I need that block there. Get in the end zone. Get in the end zone. Tyler Huntley for six, baby. 
Oh, we take the lead in the Super Bowl. All right, so the Packers took the lead on us. We're down two. Four minutes left here. Just got to keep on grinding, man. Just got to keep on grinding. Kyle Pitts, open, turn up field. Nice. Looks like drags are working out pretty well for us right now, so let's keep after that. Justin Jefferson there on the run. Wait, oh my God, turns up field too. Do we try to hit a bomb here? No, I actually don't want them to get the ball back at all, so let's try to run real quick. Hasn't worked out well, but that's pancakes. That's a touchdown. Oh, do I want to score though? This might be too early. This might cost us. I don't like this. Oh boy. I got a little scared. I hopped on to play defense. I got a little scared here. I don't even know how I could defend this guy right now though. This guy, the CPU. Oh, a pick into end it. Oh my God. As I hop into it. Is this Odafe too? Ends it? Just go down. Just go down. Woo. What a pick. Wow. I can't believe it. Literally the first play I hopped on. Odafe Owe picks it off to win us the Super Bowl. Wow. Now that's Super Bowl MVP worthy, but also I kind of want Tyler Huntley to win Super Bowl MVP. We already threw a multiple picks, so maybe another touchdown will get us into a good spot here, you know? Get in there. That's a touchdown. Ooh. Wow. I can't believe it. Hey, I guess getting into the game was uh, the right move on defense. Wow, dude. And there you guys have it. We actually... Finally won a Super Bowl in one of these franchises. We did it with Tyler Huntley. 99 overall. You know, I thought about ending this uh, video like three seasons ago. So, I'm glad we kept going. I'm honestly just glad that, you know, we kept inching closer and closer to 99 overall. And we did it. We won the Super Bowl, dude. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video today. If you guys did, definitely hit that like button. It really helps me out. really helps the video when you guys smash that like button. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And yeah, in the comments, let me know what kind of uh, franchise videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more and or any other Madden videos, man. Tyler Huntley holding up the trophy. I don't think that's his face. I don't think he has a face cam, but whatever. Yo, let's see it. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This might be a super long video since we played eight seasons. Hey, we struggled early on, but 13 for 20. One touchdown, two picks. Uh, we did have two rushing touchdowns, though, so I'm assuming we won Super Bowl MVP. Oh, the fumble was bad, too. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to throw a triangle, but yeah, I'm assuming we won Super Bowl MVP, though. I actually don't know if we won Super Bowl MVP. We didn't. Jalen Johnson won MVP. I'm assuming he's the one that got the pick six then. So, And we did win MVP. Holy shit. Okay, so cool. We won the MVP, Jalen Johnson, Super Bowl MVP. So what a trade that ended up being, right, guys? What a big trade. But, yeah, Tyler Huntley ending the year as an NFL MVP, which I'm actually surprised. Oh, maybe because our run game wasn't as good. That probably is what it was. Okay, let's see the final stats here. Yeah, first in passing yards for 57 passing touchdowns. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. 57 passing touchdowns. That's nuts. Yeah, run game was not good. <laughs> run game was not good. But we made it to zero. 2,100 yards receiving. 27 touchdowns for Justin Jefferson. That's just silly, man. That's just absolutely silly. Um, did our uh, draft guy go off? Ooh, a different guy went off for us. Okay. 15 and a half sacks for Odafe, though. I'm just happy we won this Super Bowl. That's so sick, dude. So, yeah. Like I said... Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Follow me on all the social medias. Twitter, Instagram, second channel, Twitch. All the links are in the description down below. Of course, if you're trying to buy tickets to any sports games, check out Seageek. Seageek.com. Seageek app on your phone. Use code WHEELS for $20 off. Wow. I'm really enjoying franchise. That, that got me hyped, dude. That got me so hyped. Why is he down to a 98? Ah, we did have him at a 99 at one point, though. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.